what's going on everybody david here and welcome to part six of my complete 4k blu-ray and dvd collection um more than likely this is going to be the last video of the series just because I, I i was able to gather up what i had left and i think we can knock this out in one video i'm hoping anyway so stick with me it might be just a little bit extended more than usual maybe so uh, bear with me please but other than that man this has been fun this has been a fun journey um you know everybody has been asking uh for videos like this for a while and uh, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to, to, to be able to talk a little bit more about certain titles, uh, so, some movies that I love that I've never really gotten a chance to talk about. And this has been amazing. And you guys have, have supported it so much. So I'm, I'm thankful for you guys. Uh, and, and I really appreciate the support that you guys have been giving me uh, thus far in this series. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we have a lot to look at, so let's just go ahead and just jump right in, all right? All right, first up is Coach, the complete series. Uh, love this show a lot. One of my favorites, Hero Quest. I don't remember watching this, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, what we did on our holiday. This is a really good movie. Pulp Fiction. Who doesn't love Pulp Fiction? Who hasn't seen Pulp Fiction? If you have not seen Pulp Fiction, you need to watch Pulp Fiction. How many times can I say Pulp Fiction? <laughs> the Jacques Rivette collection. This is another Arrow video uh, collection of movies. Fantastic. Love it. Arrow, uh, Arrow always puts out some really good quality stuff. The Creeping Garden. I believe that's a documentary. Jim Brewer and Laughter for All. Jim Brewer, he... He was really, really funny uh, during his SNL days. Um, he's still really funny to me. Uh, not as funny anymore. Maybe it's just I got older, I guess, maybe. Children of the Corn. This is an Arrow video release. Fantastic movie. Fantastic release. A Fish Called Wanda. Fantastic movie. 222. Friday Night Lights, the complete series. I'm not, I'm not a sports guy at all, really. Um, not, not too much anyway. Um, especially not a football guy. But fantastic, fantastic series. Um, I was very shocked at how much I enjoyed it. So if you have not watched Friday Night Lights, I, I even love the the original movie. You know that it's based on. Uh, but if you have not watched the show, I definitely suggest checking it out. Night of Living Dead, the fiftieth anniversary. Vice versa. Silicon Valley, the complete fourth season. Love this show so much. It's, uh, it's an awesome show. I've, I've watched it from the beginning. And me being a, a tech, uh, nerdy type of guy, um, I really, really enjoy it. The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1. Regular show, Mordecai Pack. Love this show so much. Paddington Bear. I used to watch that a lot growing up. Orange is a New Black, season four. You can see there. Um, you know, I wasn't the hugest Orange is a New Black fan. Uh, but I really got, especially with that one, I, I started really, really watching it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of it now. <laughs> Elysium. Good movie. Family Guy, Volume 12. In Your Eyes. This was a really good movie. This was uh, this is going to be one of those that may fly under the radar for a lot of people. Directed by Joss Whedon, I believe, right? Oh, director Bryn Hill. Write, uh, writer Joss Whedon. So he did write the movie. Uh, but it's a fantastic blend of like sci-fi and drama and like a love story thrown in there i highly suggest checking this one out startup this was a really good movie as well fantastic movie uh stars jack o'connell and uh this was before he he did that other movie well, oh man uh, broken that's what it was um and uh fantastic fantastic movie about uh a guy that just kind of ends up down on his luck and ends up in prison you know Courage the Cowardly Dog, Season 2. 
Life Itself. It's a really great documentary on, on uh, Roger Ebert. Fantastic. Kill Billies. Veep, the complete uh, sixth season. You there? Fantastic show. Uh, this is... I started re- I started watching it uh, originally, and then my wife started watching it, and I kind of dropped off a little bit. My wife loves this show, though. She still watches it. Gone in 60 Seconds. Really great movie, even though it does have crazy Nicolas Cage. Creep Show 2. Love this. Love this movie. Uh, again, one of my favorite horror anthologies of all time. This is a triple feature. Does... Uh, offer Knock Around Guys, A Man Apart, and Boiler Room. You can see there, Vin Diesel with hair. Collateral. Fantastic Michael Mann film. Um, I really like this one a lot. And uh, it shows a different side to, to Tom Cruise. I th- I've watched that one so many times. Um, here's a box set here. This is a Blue Fan's exclusive uh they call it a one click which it offers a bunch of different versions in one box for captain america civil war fantastic box that it comes in you can see there and let's open this up real quick i'm just gonna go through them really fast uh, this is uh one of here one of them here this is a lenticular version for captain america civil war another lenticular version for captain america civil war and the really cool thing about these that they line up to where they're they're kind of going head to head with each other. So that's really cool. Love that. Um, I, I I really want to buy more of these premium edition uh, steel books and things like that. They are so pricey though, but they are so worth it. Trust me. Uh, this is another uh, steel book for Captain America: Civil War. You can see here. None of them have been opened, mind you, except for one because I did want to check it out, and that's this one here. Fantastic, uh, ooh, almost fell off. Fantastic embossing right there. It does come with some art cards inside. And then the steel book itself. Fantastic, fantastic set. Um, was, I, I will say, it was pretty pricey. And um, I, I, I tend to be one of those people that whenever I buy something very pricey, um, I get buyer's remorse almost immediately. <laughs> and I started telling myself, what did you just do, David? What did you just do? <laughs> but I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it just because it's a fantastic, fantastic set. Um, he goes Vikings. Uh, was it season season four, volume two? Right. Yep. There. Red Christmas. Mary Riley. Down to you. It's, it, this is one of those like guilty pleasures that I'll just throw on every every now and then. Adventures in Zambezia. Drunk, stoned, brilliant, dead. Um, this is a fantastic uh, documentary on the National Lampoon's uh, movies and things like that. The 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 company National Lampoon as a whole. Fantastic, very very fantastic. Uh, uh, documentary. If you're like into comedy, if you're like a comedy nerd, I highly suggest picking this one up. Halloween Five: The Revenge of Michael Myers. Great. Rumble in the Bronx. Love this one so much. I hated the fact that they always. I I hated these cases back in the day. And, and look, this was before they had discard on, on stuff. Kills me. I hated these cases so much. But I love the movie. <laughs> the DVD version of Donnie Brasco. United 93. Very, very heartbreaking movie. The Wraith. I love this movie. I I remember watching it so many times growing up. It was always like one of those Sunday... Uh, Sunday afternoon movies after like cartoons and all that or like Saturday, Sunday afternoon movies whenever the cartoons would finish uh, they would just show these random movies uh, on 
on uh, you know regular broadcast TV. This was one that was always on, and I loved it every time. Reindeer Games. Walking Tall. This is a really good movie. I, I enjoyed it. I'm a fan of The Rock. RoboCop 2. Love this movie. Just It's RoboCop. And also, it was filmed in Houston, Texas. My hometown. Road Racers. The Coalition. The Marine 3 Homefront. Uh, this is another one of those WWE films. And it's... They're... they're I don't want to say they're guilty. They're not really guilty pleasures, but you know what you're getting whenever you watch one of these. It's basically uh, every WWE action film that they put out, like WWE Studios action action film, is basically a throwback to like the late '80s, early '90s type of action films. Um, so it's just you know it's it's pure action. Some of them can be fun. Um, the Marine ones. Uh, the last Marine one, I didn't really enjoy very much. But uh, all these other ones were, were pretty good. Not too bad. Red Dawn. A remake for Red Dawn. This one was okay. The Puppet Masters. I love this movie. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, like sci-fi horror movies. Uh, it reminds me a lot of like uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers and things like that. Night of the Living Dead. This is uh, the Tom Savini directed... Night of Living Dead remake. Love this one. Saw 3 director's cut. Has this really cool slip cover on it. Super cool. Super cool. You know, a lot of people have brought to my attention that I say super cool a lot. And you're right. I do. <laughs> Twilight. Serena. Playing by heart. So undercover. <laughs> Playing for keeps. This is an okay movie. I dug it. The Breakfast Club. Who doesn't love The Breakfast Club? Um, you watch this movie and Spider-Man Homecoming back to back. And there's a lot of similarities. A lot. Hellraiser. Love Hellraiser. The Captain. This was a really good movie. A really good uh, drama drama starring Ryan Reynolds, which you don't get to see a whole lot of, especially lately. Um, I highly suggest checking this one out. Police Story Lockdown. Sorry, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan movies are always awesome. Dawn of the Dead Ultimate Edition. This one does contain about four different versions of Dawn of the Dead. Um, this is one of my favorite releases of all time. I really wish that maybe one day that they would uh, release something like this on uh, on Blu-ray or 4K. That'd be very awesome. I would buy it up in an instant. So this is really cool. It, does, it, is, it is embossed. Slight bit there. Really nice artwork there. Jumanji, uh, I believe this is a complete series, right? Let's see, yep, the complete animated series, three seasons, forty episodes. That's it, forty episodes, for the complete series. Wolf Creek Two. This was a fun watch. I really enjoyed this one a lot. The Princess Protection Program. <laughs> this is one of my daughters when uh, she was a, a bit younger. I still kind of have all these movies around uh, as a reminder. Shark Tale. Danny Collins. This is a really good movie. The Wedding Singer. I really, still to this day, I love this movie. Um, not the biggest Adam Sandler fan, but uh, his earlier movies that he's did, he, he did, like this one, uh, like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, uh, I still really like those. Operation Condor. One of my favorite Jackie Chan movies. The Truth About Emmanuel. 
and the Hulk truth. <laughs> that was very odd that they were like put together like that. Munich. Really, really good movie. Let's see here. The Departed. Uh, funny story. When uh, I first saw The Departed, uh, I, I, me and my wife saw it uh, at the movies in the in the theater, and um, it was it was, I don't know, it was it was a late night showing. Went in, um, and literally, I think it was we had a couple drinks beforehand, um, and literally like maybe fifteen minutes in, I fell asleep, <laughs> and it wasn't because the movie was boring. I just got really sleepy, and it was late. Um, and then I woke up, I, I <laughs> this pissed me off so much. I woke up literally like five minutes or, or 10 minutes before it ended. And I saw the whole ending play out and I was so mad at myself. I was so pissed off. Um, and I didn't want to go see it again. I refused. Um, and then when it came out on, on DVD, my wife went and bought it for me and she bought me this really cool, uh, target exclusive that comes with. The actual script <laughs> like a, a mini version of the script of the movie <laughs> so i thought that was really cool and it totally made up for me falling asleep and never again will i fall asleep um during a really cool movie like this because it was awesome still to this day fantastic movie love it so much the power for the power puff girls movie again it's my daughter Secrets and Lies, Season 1. Asylum. I'm going to say it again, because I've said it in a previous video, a horror movie collection video. Um, there hasn't been a movie that's ever really pissed me off, uh, except for this one. Uh, I, I, I urge you not to waste your time. Uh, normally, I will say, you know what? Make your own decision. No. I'm telling you, don't waste your time on this movie. This is a terrible movie. It's an insult to filmmaking, to be perfectly, brutally honest with you. Terrible. Dead Rising, uh, Endgame. This was a, it's a fun movie. Uh, it is what it is. It's, you don't get a whole, you get instances where they refer, you know, to certain things from the games, uh, but it's not based completely on the games. You know what I mean? But it's, it's, Fun, nonsensical horror. Burn Notice, Season 7. The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Um, my wife uh, convinced me to watch this movie. And I did. And I, I actually enjoyed it. I was like, okay, wow, cool. And then I hear that, well, they're not making any... There's a series of books that they were supposed to base more movies on. And they weren't going to do any more. And then they had a show. And I want to say the show got canceled. Something like that. So it was a little bit of a disappointment. I, I actually really enjoyed the, the movie though. Godzilla the animated series. Is, is uh, the complete animated series. See here. Is it, uh, 40 action packed episodes. <laughs> Polly Shore is dead. He's not really dead. I don't think he. I don't think he can ever die. To be perfectly honest, Evil Ed, Slow West, Warm Bodies on 4K, really good movie. Different type of zo uh, of uh, zombie movie. The Big Knife, Narcos. This is uh, season two, I believe. Yep. Don't torture a duckling. The immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Born in China. This is fantastic. I love these Disney nature uh, documentaries. Um, they, there's a lot of heart put in them. And I... I who doesn't love animals? Well, I'm sure there's people that don't like animals. But looking at them in a documentary uh, sense, in a documentary form, it's it really is a fantastic, uh, fantastic film. Uh, they 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 put a lot of like um, uh, stories in it. You know, they 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 make a story 
out of this uh, documentary that they do. The Slayer. Eric the Conqueror. Wrinkles. I got a couple. Regular show, the Rigby Pack. Yeah, yeah. Mystic River. Really good movie. Tommy Boy. <laughs> I love Tommy Boy. I wa I've, I've watched it so many times and I'll still watch it. Uh, many, many more. Cabin Boy. This is another one. Uh, really, really fantastic movie. Uh, you know, I watched it originally when I was younger and uh yeah it's just it's just one of those those staples for me anyway flight 7500 Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back this is another one uh that I would never get rid of because for one I like uh Kevin Smith a lot I'm a huge fan of of him and his work uh but another reason is because uh, this is another one of those films that I got when I first bought my very first DVD player, um, and I bought a whole bunch of DVDs, and this was this was one of them. The Legend of Hercules on 4K. Supernatural: The Complete 12th Season, fantastic show. Devil Wears Prada. Scream Four. Uh, this one was. This was. This one was. I think uh, an attempt at uh, almost like reinvent, you know, the Scream franchise, and they didn't really hit the mark on it. It's it's fun, but uh, they didn't. It, it didn't really completely do it for me. The ABCs of Death Two, fantastic horror anthology. You know, with all horror anthologies, there's hit. There's hits and misses. Uh, there's more hits than misses in this one. Land of the Dead. The first and only big, really big budget uh, George Romero zombie movie. Love it. The social commentary in it is, is fantastic if you really pay attention. Cloverfield. Love this movie. The Lazarus Effect. This one was a pretty good movie uh, starring Olivia Wilde. Huge fan of hers, by the way. Return of the Living Dead 3. Fantastic. Psychomania. Sausage Party. <laughs> this is so inappropriate. <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> Fifty Shades Darker. Put that one over there. <laughs> Terrible movie. Uh, 30 Days of Night. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Love this. It's very hard to find now. Um, so if you didn't get it, um, there's a lot of scalpers out there selling them for like... I, I, the last I saw, um, it was like upwards to about like a hundred and something bucks. It was crazy. This is the Target exclusive steelbook for Justice League, The Throne of Atlantis. Fantastic. Captain America the Winter Soldier. I own a lot of versions of Captain America the Winter Soldier uh, as well. Um, love this movie. This is uh, this is a game changer for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It really was. Beyond the Black Rainbow. Um, fun fact, this is one of the first movies that I ever reviewed uh, for CinemaDeviant.com when I first started my site and first started reviewing things. And it's weird, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> Fear the Walking Dead, the complete first season. I love Fear the Walking Dead just because it's um, one. I love the Walking Dead franchise and and, and ser the original series, but this is one of those that I I got uh, engrossed in just because I didn't know what was going to happen, and I I was curious to see how it all started out, the whole uh, Walker infection and stuff like that, and still a lot of people have already dropped off on it. Season three has gotten really good, um, and uh, I, I'm I'm sticking with it, just because now that they announced that whole crossover thing with Fear the Walking Dead and The Walking Dead, so 
um, it's gonna it's gonna get really good and really interesting. Trust me. Okay, stick with it. If you're watching it and you're kind of feeling uh, so so about it, I promise you, stick with it. It's gonna pay off. Fantastic season, by the way. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead, the complete second season. Again, great show. The Walking Dead, the complete first season. Uh, this one was, uh, I think, only like what six episodes. It was like two discs. Um, so yeah. A lot has changed since then. I'm actually currently uh, re-watching The Walking Dead from the very beginning. Um, so I tend to do that sometimes with, with certain <laughs> certain series. But uh, yeah, love this show so much. Uh, I know, again, just like with Fear the Walking Dead, a lot of people, a lot of people have dropped off of The Walking Dead. And uh, I'm still staying strong. I loved it. I've loved it from the very beginning. This is uh, The Walking Dead, the complete second season. Let's see here. Really... Fantastic. Walking Dead, the complete third season. So I've been re literally, I've been reviewing The Walking Dead from the very beginning on CinemaDeviant.com. Walking Dead, the complete fourth season. Walking Dead, the complete fifth season. Walking Dead, the complete sixth season. And Walking Dead, the complete seventh season. Um, now, I'm curious. How many of you guys watch The Walking Dead? How many of you guys have dropped off of walk, watching The Walking Dead? Um, let me know some of your favorite episodes and stuff like that. Because I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. And I will watch it until it ends. Literally. So, um, yeah. I, I want to see if there's any, any uh, other big fans out there of the, of the series. Vendetta. Pitch Perfect 2, fun movie. Not as good as the first one, but it's really fun. The Lookout. Big. <laughs> Love this movie so much. Um, and as you can see here, it says Open Me. It used to play that... Dun, 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 dun. It used to play the little song that he does on the piano. Um, I don't know what happened, but... Oh. You hear it? Oh, I, I think it's the battery. I think the battery's gone. Let's see if you can hear it. Ooh. Let me know if you guys can hear that. Yeah, I guess the battery's done on it. But uh, yeah, it's really that was a really cool, uh, cool little uh, little thing that they added there. I think it's still going. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire on uh, on DVD. Die Another Day, 007. Saving Silverman. Love this movie so much. Uh, this is just one of the... It's a silly movie that I can just sit back and watch and just laugh my ass off, really. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Jersey Girl. A lot of people give Jersey Girls uh, a lot of flack. Um, just because it was, it had to do that with that whole Benefer thing and, uh, you know, Ben Affleck and, and Jennifer Lopez, uh, she's barely in the movie. So there's that. I thought the movie had a lot of heart to it. Um, and it's, this is directed by Kevin Smith. This was one of his first, like, you know, dramedy type of, type of films. And I thought it was great, man. I, I really don't think that it gets a lot of, uh, it, it gets a lot of flack, doesn't get a lot of praise. Like it really should. It's a great family movie, and I, I highly suggest, if you haven't seen it just because you've heard all these rumblings about what it was, I highly suggest checking it out. Give, give it a chance, at least. Million Dollar Baby, fantastic movie. Spartacus, Vengeance. It does come in this like, really cool you know, slipcover, and then it's like a, a digi book type of deal. Right. This is the complete second season, mind you. The original is the complete first season. Supernatural, the complete ninth season. Supernatural, the complete eighth season. The Rover, really, really good movie. I enjoyed this one a lot. 
Neighbors. Looper. I love this movie a lot. I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of... Uh, of, uh, of, of, uh, I can't even think of the guy's name. It's right there. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, I had a brain fart. But yeah, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I, I thought he, he did fantastically uh, as, uh, you know, playing a younger Bruce Willis. Uh, even though they, they use makeup, his mannerisms, the way he spoke was fantastic. I thought it was great. Matrix Revolutions. Phone Booth, really good thriller. Antitrust, I really like this movie a lot. I thought this one was really great. Um, again, I'm a, I'm a paranoid dude, um, and it got me a lot more paranoid. <laughs> this one reminds me a lot of uh, The Circle, the, the one with Emma Watson. Uh, very, very similar in tone. Friday Night Lights, fantastic movie, directed by Peter Burke. Kung Fu Panda, The Legends of Awesomeness. Hellboy, love this movie a lot. Really looking forward to the reboot. Only the Strong. Um, I, I, I was a huge fan of this, uh, of this movie growing up uh, to the point where I, I bought the soundtrack. I started to learn Capoeira, uh, the Brazilian martial arts. Um, and I, I did pretty decently with it. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I, I had, to, I want to say I had this movie on VHS for a very long time and then I lost it or got rid of it or something. And I was always wondering if it was going to be released, you know, on, uh, on disc, on DVD or, or, or Blu-ray. I only found it on DVD and, uh, I believe it's out of print now. And I don't think that they, that they've, uh, released it on Blu-ray as of yet. But really, really good martial arts movie, um. Uh, it's it's cheesy, it is, but it's really fun. This is the end. It's not the end, not yet, anyway. What Richard did. Uh, this is a really good uh, indie movie that has a uh, Jack Rayner in it, and uh, it's it's a morality tale, and you know, it. it I don't want to ruin it. I really don't because this is a really good movie. Hot Shots Part 2. <laughs> 51st Dates. Spaceballs. I love Spaceballs. Two Evil Eyes. Uh, this is a, uh, a fantastic, I guess, small horror anthology uh, from uh, George Romero and Dario Argento. Two fantastic directors. Uh, they're basic they basically do uh, a short film each. On uh, the works of uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Fantastic. Fantastic effects in, in the movie. Fantastic horror. Love it. I don't think it's been released on Blu-ray yet either. His name was Jason. Fantastic. Uh, really good documentary on it. Not as good as uh, Crystal Lake Memories. But really good in its own right. Zombie 3. The Mentalist. The Complete Sixth Season. Impractical Jokers, the complete second season. Uh, I didn't really think that I was going to like the show as much as I did, but I found it hilarious. Good luck, Chuck. Shrek. How I Met Your Mother, the complete eighth season. I want to say, is it? I want to say that this is the last season. Jet Li, the one. Shrek, the third. Aquamarine. Yoga is a transformational journey. <laughs> okay. Occupy, unmasked. This was during that whole Occupy Wall Street, uh, you know, phenomenon and things like that. So, yeah, they had to put out a documentary on it. I wish. Cartoon Network Holiday Collection. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The Legend of Bruce Lee, Volume 3. The Dark Knight Trilogy uh, box set here contains all the, the Christopher Nolan uh, movies here. 
uh, Batman Begins the Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises. Really great set. I'm glad I got it when I did. I got it when it, I think it was originally like ninety dollars, and then I found it on sale for like thirty, I believe, at Best Buy, and I scooped it up. And then not long after that, I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm glad. I'm really, really glad I picked that up. Turkey Hollow. Casual. I believe this is season one. Yep. Joseph and Mary. CKY, the video album. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of music videos, even still to this day. I love music videos. I love the creativity uh, that one person can have within, I don't know, maybe like three, three and a half minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, they tell a small little story. They're all like sh little short films. Um, so this was around the time that I, I, I'm still into, I really like CKY. Um, especially this album, Infiltrate, uh, Destroy, and Rebuild. They actually made a video for every song on that album, and I had to buy this. This is out of print now. Um, I don't know if it's yeah, how much it is, even on like eBay or something like that, but um, really, really good uh, collection of music videos. Uh, most of them, I believe, are directed by Bam Margera. Duck Dynasty, Wedding Special. I don't know. <laughs> the Giant King. Stella! Angry Birds. <laughs> Monster House. Uh, I really like this movie. Uh, this movie creeped out my daughter for a good while. Um, it does have this really cool uh, wheel. Let me see if I can spin it. Uh, it's probably all stuck. It's all old. But it has this wheel here that you can spin. And, um, oh, here it goes. Right. Let's see if we can. And it changes on the cover here. That's really neat. It shows the kids like running away. <laughs> so that's really cool. I like that. That was really neat. It has this insert there in the inside. I really like this th that movie a lot. It was it was creepy, but it was like fun creepy. You know what I mean? Uh, Angry Birds Tunes. This is season two, volume one. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, uh, Platinum Edition DVD. And we have we still have like all these old Disney DVDs that we had. Uh, Brother Bear. Sponge guard on duty. <laughs> That's gross. Is he wearing a speedo? That's disgusting. <laughs> the Jungle Book two. Regular show slack pack. American wrestler, the wizard. Really good movie. It's very inspirational. Gray lady. Cyber stalker. You guys know who you are. IMAX Deep Sea. Let's see here. All right. Oops. All right. Don't Breathe. Really good movie. I enjoyed this one immensely. Uh, the History of WWE. 50, I believe it's like 50 years of sports entertainment. Really, really good documentary. Marvin's Room. Halo Nightfall. Paranoia. That just sums me up as a whole. Manchester by the Sea. Really, really good movie. I enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, the Shack. This was a really good movie as well. Very emotional uh, type of movie. So get ready uh, and bring your tissues. A Dog's Purpose. Uh, this is one of those movies uh, that we popped it in. I, I had heard about it, you know, we popped it in, we watched it as a family, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, oh man, that, that sucks, like, that's, that's pretty sad, I look over, my wife and my daughter are bawling their eyes out, <laughs> Sea Biscuit, The Scorpion King, The Animatrix, this is really good, I like this, this is a collection of, of uh, animated shorts, uh, you know, kind of centered around the whole Matrix, uh, theme Meet the Robinsons Spongebob Squarepants Karate Island The Spongebob Squarepants movie As you can see there's a theme here My daughter really liked Spongebob Squarepants Growing up 
Oh. See, new battles without honor and humanity, the complete trilogy. Another cool uh, Arrow video box set. As you can see there. Natural Born Killers, the director's cut. I didn't even know I had this one until I put it on uh, <laughs> on the table here to, to check out. That's really cool. I got to rewatch that pretty soon. Sushi Girl, this is a really good movie as well. Uh, another one that'll fly under the radar for a lot of people, but I highly suggest picking this one up. A Walk Among the Tombstones, which is like taking seven or eight or something like that. All of Liam Neeson's movies like around this time, you know, kind of were very, very similar. <laughs> like a slight little twist, but very similar. Vice. Lucy. War of the World's Goliath in 3D. The remake for RoboCop, which I thought was pretty fun. Um, wasn't the best, but uh, I enjoyed it. I really wish that they would have kind of, you know, continued on with with maybe like another sequel to see how it would have uh, fared after that. But I guess it didn't, you know, it, the response wasn't great. Uh, Endless Love. All I think, whenever I hear Endless Love, all I think of uh, is the uh, Zamboni scene in uh happy gilmore <laughs> where where the zamboni driver i believe is seen endless love cleopatra no holds barred badass two badasses <laughs> earth to echo uh this this is a really interesting found footage movie a sci-fi found footage movie that i believe that they were trying to kind of Mark it as like the next ET, which it didn't. It, it's it's not, but it was uh it was pretty entertaining though. Again, and I, that's coming from a guy that doesn't even like found footage films really. Uh, Mad Men, the complete uh, or the final season part one. The Phenom, it's a really good movie. Another Alien Covenant. This is uh the Target exclusive, uh, Blu-ray. It has this uh, cool digibook included, Creatures of Alien Covenant. Batman Under the Red Hood, one of my favorite uh, DC animated films of all time. Fantastic. Son of Batman. Lego Batman in 3D. X-Men Apocalypse, this is uh, in 3D as well. Resident Evil Damnation. Fantastic. I enjoy those movies uh, a lot. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming in 4K. Spider-Man Homecoming, Homecoming, this is uh, the Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook. Uh, I'm a little upset with this one just because uh, I see that a lot of people like uh, internationally, and I should, really shouldn't be upset because sometimes we get cool stuff that they don't either. But they got this same exact steelbook with the 4K, Blu-ray 3D, and the Blu-ray included. Uh, we didn't get that here, which kind of blows. But really, really nice steelbook. Fantastic artwork. Uh, standard Blu-ray. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming 3D. It's the uh, Target exclusive. Spider-Man Homecoming. It Comes at Night. Uh, good movie. Not marketed the way it should have been marketed, but uh, good movie. Uh, a Ghost Story. I've been wanting to talk about this movie for so long. Um, not a lot of people have seen this movie, or around me anyway, that, that I know of. Um, but this is one of those movies, it it really... I knew it was going to be a powerful movie, well, just by watching these trailers. Um, I watched it. I, um, I cry. I almost cry. Pretty much cried almost the whole way through, man. Um, and it had, probably has a lot to do with me being a little older, thinking about mortality. Um, I am a husband and a father as well. So that it, I think it kind of hit me hard um, in that sense. But fantastic, uh, fantastic movie. Very artistic movie. Um, and it makes you really think about mortality, your life, and um, what's going to happen after you're gone. You know? So, if you guys have seen this movie, let me know what you guys think. It, this is one of those movies, though, that a lot of people... I've, I came across a lot of people, though, uh, that have said, Oh, man, it totally sucked. It was stupid. Uh, you know, but 
it, you got to like really, I guess, understand and, and appreciate uh, certain scenes and how uh, emotional they can get. Just even if it's in silence, you know what I mean? It's there for a reason. Um, and if you haven't watched it, go into the, watch this movie and go into it thinking that way. And I think you'll appreciate it a lot more. Broken City. Frank, very interesting movie. Gridiron Gang. Avatar. Arsenal. Transformers, uh, Robots in Disguise, Season 1. When the Bow Breaks. A Cradle Will Fall. Blood Ties. Cheech and Chong, uh, Cheech and Chong, the Cheech and Chong's animated movie. Um, if you enjoy Cheech and Chong movies, you're you're probably most likely you're gonna enjoy these th this movie. The Giver, Romeo and Juliet, Digging Up the Marrow, Never Sleep Again, fantastic documentary on Nightmare on Elm Street. Devil's Do, The Crazies, Clown. This is a really good movie. Ash vs. Evil Dead, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook for season two. Devil, Cinema Paradiso. Imitation of Life, uh, the two two movie collection. This is a uh, it does have uh, two versions of the movie. That I believe the original and the the remake of it. Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, you know this is the this is on 4K, and this is the Amazon exclusive that has the the whole mask and all that stuff that blinks its eyes and all that. Uh, it, it it holds the the discs in like a little compartment in the back. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, this really wasn't worth the the forty dollars that it was uh, that it was sold for. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part One. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. True Detective, uh, the first season. Love this show so much. Fantastic looking steelbook. Uh, Mondo artwork on the cover here, and this is uh, this was only at Target. Orange is the new black. Uh, I believe this is this is a complete first season. I believe, right? So yeah, season one. Three sixty. Men and Chicken. The movie's about men and chicken. <laughs> it's a two pack with Priest and Legion. I could not think of the name of that movie the other day. Love this movie though. Pulse, Rebel Scum, Matchstick Men, the original Kings of Comedy, Monster in Law, Dr. Horrible Sing Along Blog. Love this. This is uh, created by Joss Whedon. I'm a huge Joss Whedon fan. Um, and it's just really, really fun. You'll, you'll find yourself just humming these songs just out of nowhere. Fantastic musical uh, type of a, you know, little, I guess you could call it like a short film in a way. Uh, Jackass Volume 2. Employee of the Month. Nine months. Right there. <laughs> Harold and Kumar escaped from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Oops. Bad Earth Santa. This is the unrated version. This one was really good. Uh, Bad Santa 2, not so much. Hammer Films. This is a two movie collection. It contains the two faces of Dr. Jekyll and the Gorgon. Black Coat's Daughter. Videodrome. Fantastic movie. Grindhouse, 
Love this movie. I really wish that they would have, you know, maybe at least done another one. Uh, but this is really, really well done. Uh, my favorite is Planet Terror. Well, you know, I guess, no, I have to say Death Proof. I think Death Proof was really awesome. The Guest. In the Blood. Zack and Mary make a porno. Fantastic movie. Really fun. Fight Club. Nocturnal Animals. Really love this movie a lot. And I'm surprised that it was it was uh, directed by Tom Ford. Ben Hur. Cops vs. Thugs, which is what it usually is. The Prince. Nightcrawler. Fantastic movie. Searching for Sugar Man. I highly suggest checking this one out. Fantastic documentary. Um, it, it's it's kind of heartbreaking at the same time, but really, really good movie. Sparkle. Star Trek The Next Generation. The best of both worlds. Fantastic uh, two-parter. They combine both parts uh, to basically make one movie. Uh, it, it's a two-part, you know... Uh, from Star Trek uh, The Next Generation. And they combined them to, to make one full feature feature film. Fantastic. Revenge of the Green Dragons. Man of Steel in 3D. Really cool lenticular the cover here. Superman Shazam. The, uh, the Return of Black Adam. Really good. I think that, that one was pretty short. But it was really good. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. That Thing You Do. Love this movie immensely. Uh, it's very, very near and dear to my heart. And I've seen it probably about a hundred times. And I'm I'm not kidding. I'm probably about like that many times. This is a triple feature for, uh, that has, a, a tw it has Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse. From the Twilight Saga. These are all extended editions as well. Lion King, this is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Really, really nice steelbook. I like that one a lot. Uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. This is like a deluxe deluxe version here. Gone Girl. I was blown away by this movie when I first saw it in the theater. Fantastic. Kill Me Three Times. I don't want you to kill me three times, but I guess if you have to, then... I'm, I'm pretty hard to kill if you have to try to kill me three times. The Age of Adeline. Halloween Resurrection. One of, probably one of the worst Halloween movies, <laughs> in my opinion. Standard version of Captain America Civil War. Rosemary's Baby. Star Wars The Force Awakens. This is a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. The Vatican Tapes, not bad. Superman Batman Apocalypse is really good. It does include a Green Arrow uh, animated short. I really miss that. They should do those again. Uh, those are really cool. Uh, Batman v Superman in 3D has this really cool lenticular slip cover. Logan in 4K. This is the Walmart exclusive and contains those cards in the back. Uh, Logan, this is the uh, Target exclusive, I believe, and it does, it, it's like in this digibook packaging, see there? Wonder Woman Commemorative Edition Steelbook, this is uh, from Target, this is a Target exclusive. Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders Target uh, exclusive Steelbook. Justice League Dark. Target exclusive steelbook. The Dark Knight Rises steelbook. I believe that's a Best Buy exclusive. The Magic of Bell Isle. All right. And last, we're going to end this one. This is a big one. Uh, we're going to end it with this one here. And this is <clears throat> my Breaking Bad complete series set. Uh, I love the show so much. I'm a huge fan of the show. 
Um, I don't normally buy like complete series, uh, you know, sets like this, but this one I had to have. Um, I really had to have it. It's 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 amazing. It's a fantastic set. We're gonna pop it open real quick so that way I can show you guys uh, real fast. And that's why I waited <laughs> last for this one. Um, okay, so let me take off this top here and let's go ahead and take it out. Okay, let's come in this really cool barrel packaging here. You can see, fantastic. Um, it commemorates uh, one of the, uh, I guess, key moments in the final uh, final season of the show. Really great. Uh, let's see here, you take this off. Take that off, and this does contain um, the, uh, the coordinates for the location of Walter White's money on, uh, you know, here on this disc. And this is a bonus disc. This does have a full length two hour documentary on Breaking Bad. I highly suggest watching it. Fantastic, fantastic documentary. Um, and then there included is a Breaking Bad challenge coin. It's a replica of the one that they gave to the cast and crew when they finished wrapping, uh, wrapping the series. <coughs> Matchbook, it's here. Saul Goodman. Um, and then this is, you can see here, it looks like there's like, you know, money on top, which is in the show, the whole barrel is filled with money. But uh, this actually is a an apron. Um, you can see there on the back here, an apron there for Los Boyos Hermanos. Um, I have no plan on opening it anytime soon. I'm going to keep it sealed uh, just because reasons. Because <laughs> I'm a collector. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open so that way we can check out the discs here. It's been a long time since I've opened this up, to be perfectly honest with you. So, let's see here. You see here, it says I have a booklet included Breaking Bad, the complete series. Um, and it's like an episode guide and stuff like that inside. And let's put this down here. And then each one of these inserts, uh, this is uh, the complete first season of Breaking Bad. And they're all like magnetic, uh, magnetically, mag magnetically, <laughs> magnetically uh, held together and stuff like that. And this really cool clear case. That's season one. Season two. And then on the back, they all have like little pictures and things like that. Season three. Season four. Yep. Season five. And then the final season here. Now, if you look, if you pay attention close to each one, they have like little, um, little pictures on each one. And if you take them all, all the discs out and line, I, I'm not going to do it now because it will take forever. But uh, if you line them all up, they create uh, a certain picture for each season uh, on these. So that's really, really cool. Really thought out. Um, still, again, one of my favorite shows. I've watched it about like maybe nine or ten times or something like that. Sound, it's it's a lot. It's excessive, I know, but it's a fantastic, fantastic example uh, of storytelling and character development. And I don't I, I don't see that very often. So whenever I do see that, I get really really excited. So it's one of my favorite shows of all time, and I'll probably watch it uh, over and over and over more uh, more times than I probably should. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video series. It's truly been a blast. Um, and you guys are awesome for, for all the support that you guys have been giving me so far. It just, it blows my mind. It really does. So thank you guys so much for that. Hit, don't forget to hit that like button. If you dug any of these titles at all, if there's a certain title that triggers a memory or, or you like a certain title, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below. I want to see it. I want to read what you guys have to say. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, because I will be coming back all the time with more videos. I know it sounds like this is like the end of the channel, but it's, it's not. <laughs> okay, it's not. Um, more videos coming all the time. And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.